Okay, let's get right into Wily 2, a stage that gave me quite a bit of trouble in the early portions of it, as you're going to find out, although you aren't going to see, because apparently I deleted that footage. Yeah, you might notice my life counter, it's back at 5, that's because I suffered a game over, and it wasn't an intentional one either. Yeah, there are some issues in this one once we uh, get to the water here. This time though, let's make sure we hold right as we fall out of that chute, so we can uh, actually make it there. You know, and not touch the spikes. So, you know, this first minute I've seen before and played, so that's why I know what's coming. One time that jellyfish that right there gave me a one-up, so I wound up having about... Well, no, I didn't have about. I had exactly five lives for this underwater portion. That jump's okay. That one doesn't bug me. And I was able to do this little segment before just fine. But there's something a little bit later that gave me a lot of trouble. So we're definitely going to call in Rush, because at this point, I have no confidence in making these kind of jumps. Yeah, that mech got me once, but it's this part, right here, jumping onto that first wheel. That looks like an easy jump, but so many times I came up short on it. Literally three. And the one time I didn't come up short, I wasn't ready for it, and I did not jump in time and fell right in between the two wheels there. Kind of embarrassing. So now we are already the farthest along in this stage we've been only, you know, 90 seconds in. Ouch. And we get ourselves a little Rush Marine segment. Uh, very reminiscent of the one we did in Starman stage earlier on. I don't mind these parts at all. In fact, this one's arguably easier because the missiles themselves don't really seem to explode the same way. As in, the enemies themselves aren't running themselves into the mines to explode. At least I don't think they are. I don't remember... Again, you know, it's been a month. And now it's been a little more than a month. It's not like I'm recording all the commentary here on one day. It's kind of tiring to do sometimes, just watching this. Since we cannot shoot those enemies whatsoever, just avoid them, and keep making sure you're firing so you aren't hit by any of those incoming torpedoes. But that's the end of that segment, and it went pretty well. I'm kind of glad I didn't accidentally press the joystick, because I use the joystick, or analog stick, when I'm doing these kind of games. I know that sounds so odd to say, because you think you'd want to use a D-pad for this, but no. Not on a uh, Logitech controller, that's for sure. <laughs> now to show you my overwhelming confidence with making jumps there, yeah, uh, come on. Whoa, okay, I'm glad I was actually paying attention, because sometimes I sort of don't at that point, and if I had not have done that, I would have fallen right into a pit. That would have been a problem. Here I'm a little nervous I'm going to jump right into spikes because of what's happened to me in a couple stages, like Quick Man's, for instance. And I still remember that one, even though it's been a couple months now. There you go, it's not that hard to get past a uh, three-block wide gap. There we go, yay! We're doing better on the commentary today. I'm in a kind of a better mood than I was. I guess just knowing that you're getting to the tail end of a project, it, it always feels good. <sighs> but more wheel jumping. But this time we're not going to use Rush. We're not going to abuse him as much. Now in this case, the, the Mets using Laser Trident's a no-go, so this is one time where Tornado Blow is an okay strategy. And I'm glad we did use it there, because otherwise we might have had a problem. And just to show I can do these kind of jumps without screwing them up, well... We'll, we'll take that hit. That's not a big deal. It's better than falling into a pit. Let's, you know, I did that enough in this one. And thankfully, once we get past these little jellyfish dudes, that's the end of the stage. And we're just halfway through the video. Oh, no. Yeah. You should have known when we had half the video left, we were going to have to fight one of these guys. At least this one comes in from the bottom at first, so you don't have to dodge unknowingly where it's going to be shooting from. But yeah, here's the Blue Devil, and he is an interesting little customer, because every time, you know, you're going to get two chances to hit him per uh, pass, but then you are going to have to wait a good while. And when I mean a good while, I am talking upwards of, in fact, I think I timed it, 38 seconds before he opened his eye from when he last closed it. And the reason why is because of this. Gotta be a little more careful now, because we don't have as much room to dodge. But then again, in a fight like this, you kind of want to be in the middle of the room anyway. So those spikes are just there for aesthetic purposes, I suppose. We're, we're trying to do this uh, fight normally at first, since I had a good feeling I wasn't going to beat this guy. 
Uh, spoilers, I was right. But yeah, we'll worry about using our weapons in the next round. But after that one, it's like, okay, I don't have much health left. Let's just take the L and move on. I wonder what the corridor above is supposed to be here, because I thought originally you just teleport in from there. Not sure what's going on. Maybe it's just there for looks. I mean, we had the one in Snake Man stage that was like that. Trying to figure out what the heck would be best to use on this guy. I'm thinking Shadow Blade at first because of a trick you can do in Mega Man 3 that I've never shown off. But yeah, you can take out the Yellow Devil in that game in like a, a few seconds if you get right up in his face, take one hit. Probably not going to work in this one. Can you guess what this thing's weakness is? Spoiler, it's not Shadow Blade. Although, I will say, doing two bars of damage per hit is not that bad. But, you know, what element is the Devil series type usually weak to? Well, Thunder. And Laser Trident has some electrical properties to it. So we're going to try that out next. After all, Quick Boomerang was the Mecha Dragon's weakness. Might as well just stand in the middle. <laughs> I like how this game is basically like, hey, yo, this is how you fight devils. Although I really got to start learning to slide under that first blob there. It's not really all that complicated. Again, it's just like the uh, Mecha Dragon deal. It, it, it's not that big of a deal, but yeah, Laser Trident does three bars of damage per hit, and if you can get uh, three hits in on, on him per pass, there we go, English, you're going to whittle down almost a third of its health in one go, and that's exactly what we want, because again, 38 seconds, you know, close to 40 seconds per pass here, you're waiting, that is a long, long fight against this thing, and y'all know I just love fighting the Yellow Devil and Mega Man powered up over and over and over again. Yeah, I don't think so. You know, the one... Well, actually, there's two uh, devils that fight pretty interestingly with how they do the uh, blob thing. Like, I like the Dark Moon fight in Mega Man 5 on the Game Boy. And while I'm not going to say I like this fight, the one in X5 has some crazy patterns you got to dodge. But this one, it's the same thing it feels like every time, so, you know, have fun waiting. Boy, my commentary's going to suffer in this one. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> well, I tried sliding under it, but oh well. And that's going to be the last chance we get, because he has less than nine bars of health left, and if I hit him three times here... He ain't gonna be getting out of this one. Nope. Uno. Dos. Adios. And there's our second stage down. I'm pretty happy about that fact. It wasn't too bad of a stage once I got past those wheels, but man, until I did that, that was a very, very troublesome stage for yours truly. As for what's coming up next time, although after a break, because I learned my lesson between Wily 1 and 2. Oh, did I ever. We are going to be getting to a very little interesting one. Because coming up, we touch down in both my favorite stage and favorite song of the game. Unfortunately, we also come across the boss that gave me the most trouble. Uh, you punk. <laughs> 